Welcome back everyone. Okay, let's finish off the lighting of the engineering hall and the other section here, which goes on the back here. Okay, so uh, for this back torpedo here, I'm going to tie it in with the lights up here. Uh, for the strobe that goes on here, I'm going to put the LED right around here with a line running down there. And for the navigation lighting back here, probably have the LED about here with a line running up there. So I get the LED on the front end here and then run a line down there. And I'm going to get the other LED in place up here first. Just going to make sure this is a weight one. Hmm. That can't go there. It's got to go right in the center. Okay, the reason being is you see this protrusion here. This would be in the way of the other side. So I got to have this directly in the center leading up. There we go. Looks good. Not bad. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to work on this here. Um, I'm just going to use the strip lighting again. Okay, probably just a short uh, run here or maybe across um, I'm not sure I'm just going to do a little test and see which one works best Alright, so let me see uh, It just needs one small little section here. I don't need anything all that much Because this is going to go Here here, like this, okay. maybe putting it on this. Or one here in the very back, shooting this way, and another one here. Hmm. Hmm. There's one right on the back here, and then one here. And then just tie these two in together. good get that all together now where it goes on here you can see what the light here strip is in the way so i'm gonna have to drill a small little hole just off to the side for the wiring to go down which will tie into the main line here Thank you. 
tied in together there looks good let's do a quick light test Better than I expected. Nice. Okay, so I still have to drill a hole here for wiring that comes down from the warp engines to tie into the ship on both sides. There's no indication here of which one's port or starboard. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'll make this on the starboard the port and I'll make this in the starboard. Okay, so let me Okay, so be able to run the wires what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole just off to the side here right around here which will go down here so I'll probably have to make a little gouge in in here for the wiring to fit down I'm gonna use the thinnest stuff I have uh, that I have so first of all, I'm just going to drill that hole, and I'll drill it on an angle, so it'll be easier to run the lines. Like that. 
there's the starboard engine. It's got the port one to do. And then I still have to run lines, separate lines for the navigation, which also run down. These engines are now ready to be put together. Just gotta let that set overnight. And then we can work on the rest of this. So back to the engineering hole here. I need to get uh, a hole drilled here. So we got uh I've got to put a hole here into here for all the wiring to go down into here. You can see I got this drilled out here. Ready for all the wiring to go down the stand. So let's see here. I just got two. Okay. So I need to point. Have this on here. To figure out where I need to drill that hole. I'm going to drill it off to the side here because of this uh, one LED for the torpedo is right in the center. So I'm going to put the hole off to the side. Just need to mark it here. Actually, I'm going to drill it right. Okay, now I need to run main lines from these lights down and I got to run lines here for the flashes to go down. Um, I'm going to build a circuit and I'm going to put it right about here. Uh, one's going to be for the navigation, the other one's going to be for the strobe. Um, but of course, you want to go. The navigation lights are on the ends of the engine and on the top over here, so I got to have lines from there running down to the engineering hull, um, and also for the strobe. So, because uh, I got the strobe behind the bridge and on the bottom of the ship, um, yeah. this other forward torpedo bay here I have to get a red light for it and I'm going to do the same thing like I did for the aft here and use a five mil flatten it out angle it so it'll fit in just right there Okay, 
so I had to move this light over for the strobe so I get this torpedo light in so I got a 470 ohm resistor hooked up to that the negatives on there looks everything's hooked up there looks good okay uh, I'm just gonna paint around the sides there and stuff so the red doesn't interfere with any of the other lighting but I doubt it ever will because it's gonna be so bright um Okay, so that's good. Just gonna do a quick light test. Okay. Okay. Just gotta hook up the rear torpedoes. Okay, got the rear torpedo there all hooked up. Looks good. Going back to the warp engines now, we're just going to get these struts in place. So I just put these partially together here so I can see where I need to put the gouge in here for the wires. Where I need to start it. So I got a mark there where it's supposed to start. And then make the gouge basically right down dead center. I need to make it as wide enough for all four wires to fit side by side. Try and get them as flat as I can get it. Just need to start gouging. I'm going to try and get it as deep as I can without going all the way through the plastic. You don't want to do that. start getting these in place.
go. Looking good. Not bad. Okay, with those off to the side now, I am going to build the circuit for the flashers and strobe. Uh, but I will have a link for the construction of the 555 circuits in the description below. So everything you need to build the circuit is you need the sockets here, two 555 timers, uh, six 1K resistors, uh, two transistors and capacitors. You don't need all these, just the ones that you do need for the uh, proper uh, speed of the flash. Uh, so I got to cut this to the size I need, but I need to figure out how big it is that I need. There we go. Got it all set and it'll go right there. Okay, so I got the circuit board there together. Now, using my breadboard here, I'm going to try out different capacitors to find out the right uh, frequency flash rate that I want. Okay, so I'm going to grab the 1000 microfarad to start with here. That's not bad for the main lighting. Okay. Now for the flashing strobe. Bitch. That's a possibility. a good one I like that one too that one better okay got the circuit done just do a light test nice perfect Got that in place now. Looks good. Got the circuit there now tied in to the lines here. So I got these lines here ready to go to the board. Just got to get uh, a main line run that'll tie into here for the impulse engines. And uh, we are almost ready to go to put these two halves together. Got the two halves together. Let's do a quick light test. Looks really good. Okay, so I finished running the rest of the lines here for the strobe, got the navigation, main power is right here. Okay, so it's time to put these two halves together. Oops. Put this on first.
That is it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we are going to continue the assembly of the model. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. I will see you all again later. Bye-bye.